That's right guys, I'm taking a Dremel to my brand new Stage 6 Street Race Cylinder Kit. Why the hell am I doing that? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it in this video guys. Welcome back to part 3 of the 70cc Piaggio Typhoon build. This is my first time doing this and what it's called is porting or case matching. So what does that mean? Well, when we zoom in here, you can see how the cylinder head slides down onto the crank casing. And if you look right there, there's a massive lip which is caused by the cylinder porting not lining up with the crankcase. So what does this mean? It basically means that when the oil, fuel and air flows out of the crankcase and into the cylinder kit through these ports, it's going to hit that lip before it actually ends up into the cylinder. So I'm going to explain why this is a bad thing. If you know about internal combustion engines, performance is all to do with the efficiency of airflow, or in this case, fuel, oil and airflow. So this is probably starting to click now in your mind that these little lips are going to obstruct the airflow and the fuel and oil flow from the crank casing into the cylinder kit. And this effectively reduces the power that you could be getting out of your engine builds. So I'm just going to wrap a little bit of tape around these engine studs to take up any space because when you slide the cylinder kit down onto these studs, there's just a bit of wiggle room and the, and the cylinder just wiggles around a little bit. Now what we're going to do here is just take this pen and remove the tip of the pen exposing the ink and we're going to use that ink to mark on the cylinder so that when we slide the cylinder down onto the crankcase it will leave a nice outline showing where there's metal that needs to be removed so you can see here where the ink hasn't touched and that's all the metal that we want to get rid of so now i'm just going to take a knife and score the cylinder kit around the ink and then i can wipe the ink off and we've got a nice metal scoring mark to show where i'm going to be grinding up to with the dremel kit for more information on this, if you want to read it on a page, go to pedparts.co.uk, click on the blog section, and you will find out all about porting in there. Remember guys, when you're doing this kind of work, it's hard to go wrong as long as you take your time. So stop regularly, put the cylinder kit back on the crankcase in, and just visually inspect and see where you're up to. And as you can see, we've started to open up those ports now and get them to line up much better with the crankcase in. But it's still not perfect, there's a little bit more work we can do with this section. Now that is looking pretty damn good. Also, the pedparts.co.uk website has a lot more information on the blog section, talking about different cylinder kits, doing dyno runs, exhaust systems, so go and check it out. Now we're going to do a little bit more work but this time we're going to do it on the crank casing itself and we're going to take that lip down right there. Now you can go pretty intense with this but I just didn't go that far with it. I just rounded it off a little bit but the fuel and air is going to flow down there through the crank casing from the reed valves and hit that lip and then head up and over into the crank casing. So I just wanted to round that off a little bit and make it a bit smoother. And as you can imagine guys there's going to be metal shavings everywhere in the crank casing and in the cylinder kit. You need to get all of that out there because you don't want any metal shavings in your bearings when you start to build the engine. And remember guys, you don't have to do any of this. You can just fit your cylinder kit straight on. All right guys, that cylinder kit is ready to go on now. So the rebuild is going to start pretty damn soon. Thanks for watching. And if you want to support the channel, please repost this, share it with your friends, get it out there. And don't forget to like and follow. See you in the next one, guys.